Good morning, world. I'm off to get some coffee for my wife. Now, um, while I'm driving, I thought I would say good morning. And how are you? Um, if you are following these, I don't know, maybe I'm just doing this to talk to myself. I'm not so sure. Um, after a couple of days uh, spent at home because the boys aren't feeling, weren't feeling 100%, we want to get out. Get up, get out. Move on. Go out. Get away from the house. Um, I do have to pick up my bikes today, which is kind of cool. The uh, They said it'd be two to three days, and because some other ones needed parts, they were able to tune mine up um, yesterday. So I get to go grab those today, which would be fun. But uh, the other thing that I think I want to do is I want to get to the planetarium. In Chicago, we have one of the one of the best planetariums around, the Adler Planetarium. And so I want to take the boys there. At seven and almost four, space is an amazing thing to kids. And learning about stars, learning about you know the sun, the sky, what makes the world go around. And so I want to be able to get them there today, um, which would be fun. But we have lots of options. You know, we've got uh, the Adler Planetarium, the Shedd Aquarium, the Museum of Natural History, the Museum of Science and Industry, the Children's Museum. There's so many things that are our options, um, which leads me to my video question of the day. If you have your option, what, what do you like to do uh, to, if you're going to go to a museum? Do you like to see dinosaurs? Do you like to see um, the, uh, you know, the Egyptians? Do you like to learn about science and math? U-boats and stuff like that, you know, you prefer to see the stars. What is your preference for museums when you have the option to be able to go? Hope you all have a great day. Talk to you soon.